Thanks a lot for that, Jeff. Interesting to see the traffic back up and normal around this time of day. Everyone's back to work. Kids are back to school. Uh, we are have an interesting show, a new art show that's happening at the new gallery, Orange Gallery. It's called Winter's Promise, and the artist joining us today, Crystal Bashara. Great to have you here. Thanks for having me. Uh, must be very exciting with the new gallery to have this uh, brand new uh, exhibit uh, opening up for you. It is. Uh, the gallery's about a year and a half old, and I've just been there since September. Uh, so it's Orange Gallery in Armstrong Street, just behind the Parkdale Market area. And um, it's great to open the, the new year with a, a new show. And it's been a while since I've had a solo show, so it's exciting for me. As an artist, you know, you, you have a studio in your home. And so it's, it's making the choice of just staying within the home and finishing the paintings that are due or to be able to show. And are you enjoying being back in the galleries and, and having the opportunity to be seen elsewhere? I do, actually. Um, it's, it's a real highlight to, to be out in a public space. And, uh, and what I enjoy, actually, a lot is just getting feedback from uh, um, people coming through the show and uh, doing this kind of thing is always really exciting. Um, but uh, yeah, just to be able to share my work uh, in a public forum. What is Winter's Promise? What, what kind of artwork are we looking at? What's the medium that you're using? So I'm working uh, in oil um, and it's oil on canvas and some of the pieces are oil on wood panel as well. And um, the, the artwork, the theme of the artwork is, is very rural. So uh, Winter's Promise being the idea of um, feeling kind of rejuvenated after the winter hibernation period and uh, yeah, coming through and, and feeling excited about the new year. And We're looking at, uh, at some of your pieces right now. Yeah, yeah so there's a lot of it too themed animals. Yes, yes. So um, I grew up on a farm about an hour east of Ottawa. Um, so the rural theme is really strong for me and it's kind of the foundation for most of my work. And uh, this show is no exception, for sure. And it dates back uh, a little bit earlier. This is a, a book that you had published a, a couple of years back when I visited a farm. And so it, it, it's a little bit backwards to how most uh, children's books are done in terms of having this story. Uh, but you also have, you had all of the artwork done prior to. That's right. And then pretty much were able to piece together uh, the rest of the book. And can I mention that it's your daughter at that age? Yep, absolutely. Uh, was, the, uh, was the model that was used. So we've got some beautiful <laughs> uh, photos. And was it fun to be able to take the work and then put it into a children's book? It was actually. Um, so this, this, uh, the work in this book is um, from an exhibition that I had at the Canada Agriculture Museum back in 2005 and there were 20 pieces that they exhibited over the summer which was the first that they've ever done an art exhibition there mm -hmm. and I had so much uh, feedback from the show and a lot of parents saying you know these would make great children's book illustrations so it just launched me into a new forum and uh, yeah it was a great idea and I, I wrote the story very in a very short period of time and Lobster well, Press picked it up and published it. It's so. a beautiful book and it makes yeah. a lot of sense. This is exactly the types of things <laughs> that I'm reading to my kids, you know, right now, but to be able to have this beautiful artwork to go with it uh, is really quite beautiful. So people, how long will the uh, how long will this new uh, Winter's Promise be hanging for? So it's up until the 22nd and uh, in fact I'm doing a reading, a children's book reading at about 11 o'clock on the 22nd. So uh, parents and children are welcome to come and join. A reading of the book and a chance to see uh, Winter's Promise. There's 18 pieces. You exactly. Said. 18 pieces are hanging. And keep in mind, it's at the new gallery uh, right behind the Park Del Market. It's called Orange Gallery. And you can find more information of uh, Crystal and her work, crystalbashara.com. Great to meet you. Thank you. Good luck with that. Uh, we're going to be checking back in with Sarah Freemark. She's been checking out a little hidden gem in Perth. Here's Sarah.